the, the fight with Sam Stout, it came uh, on short notice. I usually have at least uh, eight, 12 weeks before uh, getting the call. And, and I got the call only uh, four weeks out from the fight, so which only gives about a three week solid fight camp. And then you take, you know, you taper down a week before the fight, so it wasn't a full uh, notice. I'm always in shape, you know, uh, my, my weight was good. And it, it was after uh, practice. I remember I got the call from one of my uh, managers and he told me, you know, you want to fight Stout, Sam Stout in Ultimate Fight 919? And I said, hell yes, let's do it. Uh, you know, I'm a warrior and, and I'm ready for battle at any time. I feel like I'm definitely prepared. I've been training, you know, anyhow. It's just a matter of uh, Taylor making my training toward a, a guy like Sam Stout, who's a really good kickboxer and, um, you know, and respecting that and, and seeing how I could defeat him. You know, it's just, just uh, uh, managing the strategy, you know, uh, to win the fight. I've trained with him before, which was kind of funny because I, I don't really uh, go out and train with other camps, but Couture's is one of the places I've been to on a few different occasions. So, you know, it was, it was a brief session that I had with him, only like five minutes, maybe a session here and there. But uh, uh, I've definitely been working on some things that, uh, that would be uh, to my favor. I've been watching a lot of tapes on him and, uh, you know, making my stand up a lot more solid and, and uh, my ground game a lot more solid, just improving everything. If you're asking about training methods, you know, I, I've definitely just picked up a lot of technical work. My, everything's been improving, you know, my, my wrestling's been improving, my jiu-jitsu's been improving, my kickboxing, everything's been getting better. A month and a half ago, I was in Brazil training with some jiu-jitsu, so I was out there with, my, with Team Soka. You know, before that, I was even in Vegas uh, training at Couture's, which was pretty funny because Sam Stout's coach is over there too, so. Um, but I didn't know I was gonna fight him back then. Keeping moving forward is, is where I'm at. This is the fight right here. Um, I think that uh, the last fight was a fluke. I was, I'm very upset about it. Uh, the Escadero fight, I thought it was, uh, I saw the mistakes I made and I, I will not make those mistakes ever again if I fight a guy like Escadero. Coming off of two losses is, was pretty harsh and uh, when you're at the bottom, the only way to go is up top. So I'm, I'm ready to explode right now. The stoppage with Kyle Bradley was definitely, uh, was, was very early. Uh, I definitely thought that he won the exchange, you know, a, a lot of fights have exchanges. You know, maybe I, I uh, started off a little slow there and, and um, he landed a good shot, but I don't think that he won the fight. I think that he won that little exchange and I was actually hoping for a rematch. And uh, things happen in mysterious ways, you know. Um, you know, the ba life balances out. So here I am fighting for Kyle Bradley because Kyle Bradley was supposed to fight Sam Stout. So here I am, so we'll see what happens. Uh, Sam Stout has a lot of experience. He's he has about 20 fights already. I think 15 and five is his record. You know, I definitely respect him. I trained with him before, and uh, he's he's a, he's a great opponent for me. I'm the underdog, and I, I like being the underdog because the last two fights I've been favored a lot, and and I like proving people wrong. So now I'm I'm a bit of the underdog, and uh, I really think that I, I can win this. I think that Sam Stout has some things that I can expose and take advantage of, and might be able to do it. On paper, he has a lot. A longer and better kickboxing record than me and he has um, they call him hands of stone but at the same time you know I haven't seen him knock anyone down in the UFC he's 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 uh, been through some really good exchanges with Spencer Fisher he, he fought Rich Clemente he fought some big names but I, I, he hasn't knocked anyone down or knocked anyone out so maybe I'm willing uh, it's possible I'm willing to test his hands it's possible I might take him down we'll see any of the above is possible I'm probably gonna knock him out I'm probably gonna knock him out in the first or second round He's going to get a big left hook or a big right hand. 